Yes. <laughs> Maybe to where there's the 70 degree temperature for us so say, desperately yeah. once. Russ asked for 70, so Florida, Georgia, maybe. I, I was hoping here, but I guess oh, that, no, that, no, that's no. not going to happen. So. Well, I tell you, give it yeah. some time, and pretty soon you'll be asking for temperatures that are just above freezing. <laughs> Can uh, we just get yeah, above exactly. freezing? Yep. Right. That's the kind of cold air that we're talking about coming our way in the longer term forecast. Near term, look at this. We're just going to hang out here right around the freezing mark. A lot of cloud cover right now. We'll start to see the clouds breaking up as we head toward the midnight hour. Tomorrow, I think we get to see some sunshine. So that is always welcome this time of the year. So if you see that sun, grab a little bit of it, smile, embrace because then it's going to go away again. We do have a northeast wind that's locking that cloud cover in and temperatures that are in the low and mid 30s right now. We've seen a little bit of flurry. We've seen a little bit of grapple. We've seen a little bit of rain. It's kind of been one of those days with these passing light showers. Nothing showing up on the radar as of right now. And as far as tomorrow goes in your National Design Mart hour by hour forecast, I'm thinking we'll be up around the 40 degree mark or so. We may get a couple bonus degrees to hit 42, but some sun will be with us. Then the clouds start to increase and the clouds are going to be locked in on Wednesday as a storm system to the west will be approaching. This is the game changing storm system that will take our very mild temperatures so far for December and then turn things into a much more typical type of uh, temperature setup that we are used to for this time of the year. But look at that swirl sitting out here over the Four Corners region and clear up into uh, the central Rockies. We are going to see this whole thing moving east. So first we'll get a little bit of a warm up. That's the next couple days. And then this cold air unleashes and it's going to be a uh, long, slow process of dislodging some of the coldest air in the northern hemisphere, or I should say the coldest air in the northern hemisphere, but that's kind of down the road a little bit. Let's take a look at how this particular storm system develops and why it's going to be such a game changer for us. The storm is sitting right now in Denver. As it moves into the Plains states, it's going to gain strength. Blizzard conditions in the north up in the northern plains farther south we will have a severe weather outbreak tomorrow and then again another possibility of severe weather on wednesday all of that continues to kind of spin up over the plains states and the western portion of the great lakes so by thursday we're going to have rain but it's going to be rather uneventful meanwhile all the cold air is starting to leak into the central plain states and that cold air will wrap in behind the front by the time we hit friday and then into Saturday and Sunday. So that's what I mean by a kind of a long drawn out process to get the cold air here. Once we get the cold air here, it's just a matter of time until we get the snow and we'll have some waves of energy working some snow into the area for Friday. Uh, again on Saturday, maybe on Sunday too. And then we wait and watch to see this next round of very cold air that starts to move in. Matter of fact, that cold air is sitting right here in Siberia right now. This is the northern North Pole right there, that little dot. That is the cold air. Watch though, as we move forward in the jet stream pattern forecast, this is right now, this is two different forecast models. In 10 days, that cold air is expected to spread out across the United States, the North Atlantic, and you can see what a huge difference that is. So once a big piece of this breaks off and comes south, it's coming our way and it's going to lock us into a much colder pattern in the long range forecast. We're talking seven to 10 day forecast and beyond. Matt will have a, a little bit more on that tonight at 11, but your union home mortgage forecast for now has a nice little warming trend into Thursday. Then that cold front goes through. We get cool. We even have our chances for snow picking up as we head through this weekend and on Monday, of course, to start Hanukkah as well.